Hello, I'm Jocelyn Montero. I'm an artist, graphic and product designer and today I'm going to teach you about different art techniques inspired by five different painters that I admire like Picasso, Kandinsky, Seurat, Cezanne and Jackson Pollock. This is a collaboration with Singapore International School. Thank you for the invitation and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I'm here in Barranquilla, Colombia, in my hometown, at home, and I know that a lot of you are at home as well. So let's hang out, let's find a little bit of time to learn about art history, about famous painters, and let's have some fun. We will be using different kind of materials, any material you have at home. If you have a white paper, some crayons, color pencils, some paints, watercolor, or if you brushes, and if you don't have brushes, you can also use Q-tips or your fingerprints. Let's take artist number one, Kandinsky. He was a Russian artist and he was known for his interpretation of color through music, and he became a purely abstract artist. Something that I love about his art is the mathematical concept he adds in his artwork. So let's begin to learn about Kandinsky. Let's take one paper, let's fold it like this, and let's fold it again. So we have four different sections. Within each square, draw circles. They don't need to be perfect. They don't need to be perfectly round. Do it your own way. Once you complete all the circles, you can paint them around and then around again with any material you find. Paint, crayon, color, collage. Then we will talk about Jackson Pollock. He was an American artist and he was famous for painting in abstract expressionism. His most famous uh, pieces of art were made by dripping and splashing loads of paints over a big canvas. And this technique was called action painting. It's very interesting and I love about this technique is that you can play and have a lot of fun while you just mix color over a piece of paper. For this activity, we will need white paper, brushes, or a stick. Let's set the paper and then just play in different direction and in different layers, like this. What did you think about Jackson Pollock? It was amazing, right? It was very fun. Now let's talk about Seurat. He's very interesting and fun. He was a French post-impressionist artist and his scientific ideas about color let him develop a different painting technique. He painted in tiny little dots of colors with the theory that the viewer eye will mix them. So let's have fun making lots of little dots so let's take the paper and let's start. Q-tips make you a wonderful pointages maker. Fingerprints are another of my favorite instruments where we are learning about Seurat.
Now let's talk about Cézanne. He's a French painter and he was born in the south of France. His work demonstrates a mastery of design, color and composition. His brush strokes are clearly recognizable. He uses plain of colors and small little brush strokes that build up the form. Now let's think like Cézanne. Take a basket of fruit, set it in front and try to see the little lines in different ways multiple times. And then let's try to place it in the paper. And the last artist we're going to talk about is Pablo Picasso. He was a Spanish painter and a sculptor, and he was best known as the co-founder of Cubism. A work of art is Cubist when the artist break up the form and reassemble them in geometric and abstract forms again. Picasso was very close uh, to colors related to emotions. For example, he was one of the first artists to mix the collage techniques with um, this cubist style. So he was the one who recreate and he made these funny uh, self-portraits that you can find in collage style. We will be doing some of this uh, style so you understand how he was thinking. So let's start. Let's take a paper. And let's draw some eyes, mouth, like this. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this art lesson and these art activities and you learn a little bit about these famous artists. I hope uh, you find the time to make it at home with your family, parents, brothers and sisters. If you want to share the result, you can send the picture to this email address and we will be more than happy to share it with our community. You can use any kind of material if you have any question or uh, you want some information you can also ask me in this email address I will be more than happy to help you. Please keep safe, please be at home. Namaste. Bye.